This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. Oh, wow. Is that a strawberry? What? Bro, are you like, are you trying to be a fashion guy? Like, I mean, by the way, it's kids, I was bro. thinking about kids. the other... Well, all right, all right, all right, fine. I was thinking about it the other day, though, about, like, you're a very big star, and it's funny that you let me make fun of you like you're just a dude. <laughs> Damn, well, gotta... We wouldn't have a cast if we didn't make fun of one another. I feel Jesus. like if Brad Pitt had a fucking strawberry on his sweatshirt, you got to act like it's cool and you can't say anything about it, you know? <laughs> or, or DiCaprio. Or even, um, you know, your average uh, Kevin Hart comic, but... I gotta say, I don't. Uh, is, how is that for the kids? What's going on? Did did Serafina make I'd that? Say it's one of Serafina's favorite shirts since we were in the closet today. She went, "Why don't you wear that, Daddy?" And I said, All right, "I throw it on." And it, and it actually smells like a strawberry. Mm, I don't know. I mean, for you to wear something that your daughter picked out, that's up there with like when the pro athletes bring the kid up for the press conference yeah, on their lap. Ay, oh, hey, separate your family from your work, guy. <laughs> separate your family from your work. Go get something else on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit plus when cl people are clicking through listen when people are clicking through youtube and they see some idiot with a strawberry on his sweatshirt they're like what the fuck right. is it they gotta watch I right i do put the yeah the sheet. i'm fucking dying in here sorry it is a sharp rain. sweatshirt for uh, 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 a girl of a certain age <laughs> i i I definitely see that. I can see why Serafina would like it for sure, you know? Oh, can we put uh, the show on good. pause? I'm going to go grab no. one of my daughter's Taylor Swift sweatshirts so we can uh, do a back, back to back thing here. All right. Oh, shit. All right. I might have to retire the strawberry shirt after this cast. But it's nice to, it's nice to start the cast off with a rip session. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like stretchy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before we even clicked on here, you were looking at your bicep, and uh, I noticed just on a quick glance that you might have a ruptured bicep, particularly on that left bicep. Uh, if you wouldn't mind yeah. showing that to the viewers. All right, am I, am I, I went like, <sighs> let me see, let me move the mic. You, you know what, you know what you do? Don't make a muscle. Oh, yeah, it's gone, bro. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> right right Bro, there. Yeah. I'm looking at that the other day and I'm oh. in the mirror and I go, Jackie, you see that indent? And then watch this. When I make the muscle with it, it's weird. It's like it's like Oh, oh yeah. It's in Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> look at that. You see that last little look at that. <laughs> so and when I first started noticing that, bro, like I started noticing that. When I threw out my back and that emergency doctor gave me uh, a week's worth of steroids, he's like, they help with the inflammation. I'm so dumb with medical. I go to Jackie, look at, look at the steroids. Look at what it's doing to my bicep. <laughs> I go, now I know why dudes take this shit. I go, I just took one a day for a week. And, this, and, and then, you know, apparently it had nothing to do with the steroids because then I see that dimple. And, and what does that oh, mean? Yeah, you, what are you telling me? What does that mean? It means that we're we're bonded. We're we're, we're bicep brothers now. What happened what? to it though? It snapped. It ruptured. It's gone. And well, what do you mean? I still lift stuff. Everything seems. I mean, not weights, but like life. You only lose ten percent of your strength when you lose one of your tendons in the bicep, and you lost the short one. You didn't lose the big one. The big, the big one. You'll notice if that if that rips off, you would you would definitely feel it. My father has that. My father's bicep is in his elbow, right? So if the big if the big one snaps off, that goes low. You you, you yeah, you would definitely notice that. Uh, but yeah, man, you you both you you have it. And it's funny that you you just noticed it because it's it's strange. It's like. You look at it in the mirror, you're like, what the hell happened here? Because there's no indication of any trauma or like, oh, I lifted up a box and I heard a snap. None of it. Right. Right. No. I just noticed a dimple in my arm. I'm like, what is that dimple? And why is there an extra 
muscle, like hill on my bicep, <laughs> you know? And then I was saying to Jackie when I noticed it the other day, because here's the deal, bro. I'm trying to move them forward, my medical thing at my point, because I don't want to do this with the listens every week. They're probably like, what's up with these geriatrics? What the fuck? Because <laughs> I have a list and it was non-medical all day until I saw that. But I'm doing the ignore thing. Like, you know when you don't, when you know when you know you're not, there's no blood in your stool? When you don't look in the bowl. You know what I'm saying? That's when you don't know. I ain't looking at shit anymore. And like this, as long as it didn't hurt, I was going to ignore it. But here's the thing. I'm not afraid of getting old and getting an ache here and there. But this shit, this is gross. I, I don't want to look at this shit, what my body's becoming. This is like, ew. <laughs> and this is just the start. Dimple in the arm? Get the f It's the <laughs> decay, the body decay. I'm not down with it. Is the it is the body decay, and it is gross to look at in the mirror when you're sitting there with no shirt off and you're looking at your biceps. But here, this is what I was thinking the other day. <clears throat> is there a way to enhance other parts of the muscle around the ruptured bicep where it looks like, how can I put this? Can you make a ruptured bicep look aesthetically pleasing by either enhancing or decreasing some of the muscles around it? So let's say you worked out more of the shoulder and less mm -hmm. of the tricep. Can you almost like to make it in your advantage, like you're saying, like, look at this Popeye arm I got. Let's say if you decrease the tricep muscle and increase right. the shoulder muscle, can you make that look like, holy, this guy's got different muscles on him? Like, can we make it look good? <laughs> right, right. I hear what you're saying. I don't know. This goes back to what I said five minutes earlier. The only way you can make a ruptured bicep look good is with a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That, that it's like every part of your body is a stage, and the show is over. This show is over now. Uh, you know, by the time we're done, it's gonna have a bearded face right here. It's all you're gonna get. Everything else is gonna be draped. I mean, so like, what does your dad do about this? He just like lives. Is he in pain? Does he just live his life like like? If I felt what your dad was felt on a daily basis, would I be like, Jesus? How you walking around, Mister Maniscalco? Right. <laughs> My father's threshold for pain is that of a POW. Uh, <laughs> it, it... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. Oh, he just learns to live with it, right? Just as long as I get a bread and some water every day, I ain't complaining. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he's, yeah, he just had, uh, <laughs> he's just had prostate surgery, uh, yeah, he, he, he just, he just, it's like his body looks like, like war, you know, like just after a big battle, you look at the, at the landscape and that's my dad's body, bicep in his elbow, <laughs> prostate, uh, his back is humped. He's got a scar in his chest from the quadruple bipe. I mean, there's just there's just wounds of, of war. But he's still, it's like, but it, he's still on the battlefield going towards the enemy with the gun. Even the enemy's looking at him like, Jesus Christ, look at this guy. How the fuck's he doing this? This is unbelievable. <laughs> they don't even want to throw anything at him anymore. Even your dad's body saying, what else can we do? There's nothing else we can do to this guy. Oh, yeah. The, the <laughs> enemy's going. Just let just let him fall down on his own. You know, like they they ain't even gonna throw another grenade. Nothing. This guy's gonna. <laughs> With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Get farm-to-table quality with every HelloFresh box. HelloFresh's seasonal ingredients are picked at peak ripeness and travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days with fresh flavor all the time. Pete, I know you love HelloFresh. 
HelloFresh is perfectly good food, man. Deliver it to your house. I saw my neighbor out a bunch of boxes. I think uh, I think he's heard me do these commercials, and he's getting in on it. HelloFresh is your recipe for success, people. From foolproof instructions to high-quality proteins and veggies, HelloFresh brings out your inner chef with every tasty, easy-to-prepare meal. That's the key, man. These meals are easy to prepare. HelloFresh is more convenient than grocery shopping. But did you know it's cheaper, too? It's also 25% less expensive than takeout. I don't know if you knew any of that, Sebastian. No, I didn't. And I got to tell you, some of these meals, what I've been using them for is just to have in the refrigerator. Boom, you pull them out, you heat them up. Not only good for kids, also good for adults. Green Chef, every plate is now owned by HelloFresh with a wide array of meal plans to choose from. There's something for everybody, just like I said, kids, adults, whoever you want. I love switching between the brands, and now you can enjoy both brands at a discount. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TheCast16 and use the code TheCast16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash TheCast16 and use the code TheCast16 for those 16 free meals plus free shipping. Hello, Fresh people. Hello, America's number one meal kit. <laughs> oh. Listen. So you got yeah, no biceps, yeah. and and I hate to make. I mean, if we do another show about, um, I got the left, by the way. You you only well, one I don't down. Know, I, I don't even know if you got that. Uh, what I want you to do is go like this with that left arm, like this, Pete, like this, and then and then uh-huh. yeah, and then pull back that sleeve. <sighs> yeah, yeah that, that, I don't know, bro. That what do you think, Patrick? Does that look? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it could be a. It, Bro, you want it to be ruptured. You want I it almost, to be. You're not I, even, almost, I almost do. I, I can tell. Are both of you is ruptured? Uh, yeah. If you have double ru- Oh, all right. Now you want you want me to I be just part want of the, to join du- the double fam- rupture. I just want you to join the family, man. <laughs> the, du- <laughs> the double oh, rupture man. group. You'd be the guy in a wheelchair. If I had a limp, you'd be like, what's going on with that? With the limp? You go, I got another one in the garage. Don't worry. We'll have fun together. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And, oh, man. and listen, I, I don't I don't want to make this a medical podcast. No, no. But apparently, do I. apparently that's the way it's going. I went to the doctor yesterday. For, oh, no. For an annual checkup. Yeah. So I go in, and this type of doctor, he sits you down, and we talk for about an hour about what's going on with me. You know, there's no just sit on the table and the. By the way, he, I got him. He's uh, he's still doing the uh, the little uh, hitting on the knee. He's still still doing that, right? Eh? Your guy? Get you, yeah, I want to get your take. I'm like, I still don't know what that's for. I, 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 I never did. And <laughs> what? I think it's for like reflex. Like when he's hitting it, right? It, there's a move. There's a little movement in my leg, but like, is that just because my legs are swinging and I'm on? That's what you know, I like, always do, right? Yeah. <laughs> like if I had like a string with something hanging at the end of it, and you, and you hit that thing on the end, the whole thing is gonna it's gonna swing. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, is it is it from the pressure of the you hitting me that my leg is just snapped back, or did you hit something on my knee that that makes a reflex? And my question, my second question to you is, have you ever heard of a doctor that hit somebody's knee and it, nothing happened, and he like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the little hammer. He's like, I'm going to hit it again. We'll try this one more time. <laughs> and then he does it again. Oh, God. Oh, reaction is terrible. I got to make a few phone calls. <laughs> I, yeah, I've never heard of anybody that, anybody I've ever known in my entire life. And they went to the doctor right. and they said, fuck, I got uh, I got diabetes. And I like, really? What, what what happened? Well, he hit my fucking knee and nothing happened. So, I mean, like, right. th- I, I just don't know, like what what is the if it don't move, what do you got? Like what do you got if you don't it don't move? Do you know? I don't know. I I know that's really I, th- I think that's great because even even if whatever it does it doesn't do like you're saying if it didn't do 
It's one of the few tests where I don't even care if I don't pass it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like I don't give a fuck what my knee does. Move on to the next thing. I mean, like, I, I got so many bigger problems to worry about than whether or not my knee kicks back the way you want it to. You know? Do you a little I rubber mean, hammer? You're right. That That is the test that happens at the doctor's office that if he told me, oh, it, it didn't move, I would go, so? Right. So what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You, That's it. You put that thing in my mouth with the stick or you're feeling here, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out until you yeah. come away from my mouth and say we're good. You, you you go down between my leg, anything, I'm freaking out until you take the rubber glove off and tell me we're good. Yeah. But when you hit no. my knee, I'm like, I'm already thinking about where I got to go after the fucking doctor's <laughs> office. You know what I mean? I got to go to the car wash thing, right? Well, here's, so another, what, here's another test he yeah. did, and I want to get your take on this test. I don't know if you get this done. You're laying down on the table, uh -huh. and then yeah. he just like kind of takes his two fingers and 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 and, and doing this on the stomach. I, I, again, uh. I I I don't know. Like if he's going, he's like, "Whoa, whoa, oh yeah, what's the like? What is that uh, for?" I didn't ask him. I should have, because I normally am pretty good. Like, what are you doing? What is this shit for? Yeah. But then he goes like this, and this. That's a scary it, one. Yeah, but yeah, but with like he did it so quick that I feel like, do you think some of this shit is just like, ah, eh, you know, he's paying. Whatever he's paying for the visit, let me just fuck around up here. Right? Yeah, it, it, it's almost like totally. a, it, it's like, hey, you don't know, you don't know what the fuck I'm looking <laughs> for. So it, it just looks yeah. good. It to me, it's like when you go to car wash and you pay for the vacuum up front. They do a half-ass quick with the vacuum, just barely pull the thing out and get the fucking floorboard. They don't get the cracks, right? <laughs> I want to know what these doctors. I want to say, to my doctor, have you ever? found something like that and if he's like no i'd go well then maybe you should slow the fuck down and do and do a deeper poke around the guy all right i mean you're doing a belly tap oh, by the way what's with this hour conversation before you even get started what does your doctor do see three people a day <laughs> <laughs> well it's more of like lifestyle like how you been have you felt you know you know what are you feeling and what are you doing how's your mental health stress level you know, uh, uh -oh. got any pro ailments? You know, I, I lost my two biceps and uh, I got the sciatic yeah. pain running down my leg. By the way, that's that's gone. Now, here here's my uh -huh. theory. Uh -huh. The sciatic pain is no longer there, and I've been doing exercises to combat the or or to strengthen the core. I've mm -hmm. also been wearing a boot. It's an elevated boot on my right shoe so it's a boot you put on over the shoe that raises your raises your right leg because it's significantly shorter than my my left so it's supposed oh. to straighten out your hips right so and then i've got yeah. these other shoes that i've been wearing a lift so i don't know i've been doing things over the last seven to eight weeks that i haven't been doing at all and i've noticed <clears throat> that there's been a change but nice i've, al I've also thought about Maybe the nerve is completely dead, right? <laughs> and it ain't even like it ain't even alive anymore to give any pain, right? right. It just right. died again. I don't know if nerves die, but in right. my head, that's what I've kind of gone to. Maybe, maybe the nerve is completely died, and this is going to be more of a problem right. in a couple of right. years. But I'm, mm. I, I can't, <clears throat> I can't absorb the fact i can't absorb good news you know like yeah. oh i'm not feeling that anymore i go to it's dead and in two years they're gonna go yeah why didn't you come in two years ago when 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 you felt like it was dead and i was mm -hmm. gonna go i thought it was cured so right i know i don't know i get it you like me bro nothing goes away <laughs> it regroups <laughs> 
right? That's all it does. If some if something goes away, that just means it's it's getting ready to come back more powerful to really <laughs> shut your shit down. You think go away? <laughs> yeah, at fifty, <laughs> ta-da! No more back pain. <laughs> yeah, use your head, guy. We're coming back stronger and harder. But <clears throat> totally, what's happening? But you're being proactive, which is really important. But I think what's really happening here is what you said earlier in the cast. You're going into your own version of your POW level of pain threshold, like your father. I mean, yeah, yeah. You, your body slowly decays, and then it's like if a POW came every morning and lit a lighter on your toes to burn your toes, right? After like five years of this, he could hold that big lighter there till the gas runs out. Hey, <laughs> fucking guy, they, I'm used to this shit now. Burn away, burn away. <laughs> That's where your back pain is right now, or your sciatic. <sighs> maybe it's may, giving. Maybe. Oh, it's got to give, but your mind is like, I'm over you, bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't know if you've been doing this master class, Sebastian. Have you seen this thing where you sign up for classes? I looked at the uh, yeah. uh, Steve Martin one. Phenomenal, man. Okay, what I did is I took the Wol- Wolfgang Puck one, right, which is a cooking, a, a cooking one. And I went through the entire class. Not only did I use some of the recipes that he suggested, he also has his own line of cookware that I bought just by listening to his master class. There's another one. I forgot the guy's name. I think it might be Voss. He's an FBI negotiator. And he does a master class on negotiating tips, which I found oh. fascinating. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a now, good one to listen to before you go buy a car. Oh, yeah. And and you, you could have actually used it when you went to go purchase your mattress. Now, with master class, you could learn from the best to become the best. Anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. Annual memberships start at $10 a month, and you get unlimited access to every instructor, thousands of online lessons, exclusive content insight, and much, much more. Now, I have been a Masterclass member for the last three years, and I, I got to tell you, it's something I watch alone. It's without Lana. There's a Gordon Ramsay episode that's phenomenal. It, I, I use it for a lot of the cooking ones. But there's ones, you know, I think Serena Williams has one up there. Steph Curry's got one up there. Uh, a, a wide array of different uh, topics, different talents that people have. There's over 180 of these classes to pick from, and uh, a, a new class is added every month. And the takeaways I've taken from the master class is I've applied some of those recipes that I learned from Gordon Ramsay, Wolfgang Puck, into my own daily recipes for dinner, lunch, what have you. You could gain new skill sets in as little as 10 minutes, either on your phone, your computer, your tablet, your smart TV, and even audio mode to listen on the go. One other thing, this Kelly Wurstler is on there, who is our designer, actually. She does a whole thing on interior design. It was really cool to kind of get her process behind behind how she works and we've witnessed that firsthand in her designing our house over on harper when we used to live there so i mean how much would it cost to take one of these classes from the world's best you ask well with a master class annual membership it would only cost you 10 bucks a month you drop 10 bucks at starbucks every morning or your favorite coffee place. Get unlimited access to every class. And right now, as a Pete and Sebastian Show listener, you could get 15% off when you go to masterclass.com slash the cast. That's masterclass.com slash the cast for 15% off your annual membership. Masterclass.com slash the cast. <laughs> So what are you going to start doing? You can start wearing them uh, sneakers with like w- a wooden clog under the right one. Like, I mean, if you saw if you saw what I look like working out, yeah. I don't wear this in public, okay? It's, yeah, yeah. If I, if I went to a normal, pu- uh, like a public gym, I'd mm-hmm. go in there with, you know, my own <laughs> shoes. I wouldn't put the boot on. Uh, but I don't know. I, I 
I was in the exam room, and and we've gone over this before. And I'm, he goes, all right, love to see your your genitalia and see what's going on down there. I, I, I got a new move I'm doing during this exam. Yeah. Normally, I was quiet while he was, you know, feeling down there. You know, the cough, the whole thing. Normally, I'm, I was quiet during that. Like you yeah. do it, and I would just he said cough. And I do a new move now. I have a conversation with him while he's doing it, and I gotta, I gotta tell you, yeah, it's really alleviated the uncomfortableness of it. And I don't know if this comes with age, but like, as he was saying cough, I'm like, you know, last time you were down there, I said you found like a little small hernia. I go, you feeling anything like that? Like, eh, nah, 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 nah. And then I'm like. Uh, yeah, so what do you want me to do in regards to, you know, like, because uh, he was, okay, here's another thing he told me to do. <sighs> Instead of doing like a colonoscopy, they got a yeah. thing now called a cola guard or something where you uh, you take a shit in a bag. Oh. You sh- <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm just, we got to move on pretty soon from all this. Fucking. <laughs> Talking to you, you're talking to your doctor like he's up in your attic. You seeing anything up there? <laughs> you got damn right next to you. Holy shit! And you're taking away his concentration, bro. You probably you get cancer. You don't even know it because you're fucking yapping away. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this shit in a bag now? Yeah, I go. What does that do? He goes. Well, they could tell, I guess, from your feces whether or not you have any, you know problems in your colon just by i guess i don't know testing the shit and right, I, go, right, right. It, 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 I, go, I can't I go, this is where we're at right now like i hear shitting in a bag and i hear mm, uh, 73 years old we're gonna you need to shit in right. a bag we gotta take a look at some shit 49 yeah. you're gonna tell me right. I'm gonna, i gotta ups my shit somewhere <laughs> is that, is that, that's not what you do yeah. do you no they you mail it. it they sent yeah you mail it <laughs> You mail it in. Oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> Mailing you shit. Oh god. Now, they, how did they how am I gonna know that they don't get my shit mixed up with somebody else's <laughs> shit and they're coming back, right? They're telling me we gotta amputate your left ankle because you read some guy's uh, diabetic <laughs> shit from Chicago. <laughs> like not mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, bro. Oh, I w- listen though, but I will say I'd rather shit in a bag than fucking drink all that crap and Go in the next day and camera up my ass. That's for sure. I, I just don't know. And and I haven't got it yet. And once I receive it in the mail, I'm sure we'll open it up here on the cast to show the listeners what what that what kind of bag it is. How does it work? What do you do? I mean, and I told Lana this last night. She goes, "Wait a minute, you're gonna th- you're gonna tell me I'm gonna have to hold a bag while you while you shit in the bag? How, how do you?" Uh, do you need assistance on that? And if your oh, wife is going to yeah, do that, aren't you, aren't you bonded now for life? Like, yeah. Once your once your wife holds a bag and you shit in it, I mean, is that is that the ultimate act of love? That's it, bro. I mean, I mean, that's you can't get any more bonded than that. I mean, I <laughs> forgot the other day with my my jug and Jackie emptied it for me like your grandfather's grandmother did for your grandfather. Well, well, I, I want to touch on that, and again, I don't, I don't want to make this a full medical I cast, but I, I, I got to touch on this because you, you texted me this last night, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, Jackie's reached a threshold with with the piss in the jar. Uh, uh, with the, it's a medical jug. It's a medical jug, you know. So well, it's yeah, like whatever, not just, whatever, 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 whatever it is, bro. Yeah. It's piss. Bu- it's piss. Up. It's piss. But she has. Yeah, okay, last okay, night so- before, I had to text you because we talked about it, and she finally, I was getting ready to go to bed before her, and she goes, uh, <clears throat> uh, and I had it because I had I had cleaned it out, and she goes, uh, what, so what are we doing with that? How much longer with that? And I go, to her, I go, damn. And she goes, well, what, you really, Pete, forever? And I go, it's just very convenient. And she's like, it's the borderline diaper guy. That's what she said to me. <laughs> She says borderline diaper. So I go, can I have one last night with it? And she oh goes, fine. My, oh, so my I God, bro. Oh. It's, like a, it's like a kid giving up his whoopee. 
Holy shit. Oh, but you shit. don't. I even, I even got. I could do it now, half asleep in the dark. You lay on the side, the one foot up, so that every. Oh, it's like <laughs> so easy. The convenience factor is off the charts. But yeah, so that's coming to an end. But I didn't want to, uh, whatchamacallit, go back down that route. But there was yeah, yeah, yeah. one thing quick I wanted to say to you cause, before I forgot because you're talking about mail. I got to bring this up. And, and for some of you cast listeners out there that send stuff, I'm, I'm so grateful. I try to email and thank you. And sometimes if I, if I don't, I'm sorry. But I don't bring it all up on the cast because I don't want people to think if they send something, they're going to get on the cast. It's not about that. You know, I'm just I'm grateful for the stuff. But this guy sent something that I got to read to you real quick because I think it's something that you might want to start doing too. Yeah. Uh, inflammation, all right? Uh, DFP, long-time fan of the cast uh, from Greece. In honor of you looking after your diet to make it less inflammatory, I'm sharing some of the best olive our country has to offer. The guy's from Greece. He listens to the cast of Greece. It's made from olive trees that are uh, over 1,000 years old. You can have a teaspoon every day or incorporate it into your meals whenever possible. Thanks for the many laughs over the years. Gregorius Kalal. And he gave me two bottles of olive oil from Greece. And he's telling me, bro, teaspoon a day, like cough syrup, you're going to live to be 95. 95. Oh, I well, I, I, that, so. What do you think of that? I tell you, you know, these old world methodologies when it comes to, you know, medical stuff. Uh, I... <clears throat> The fact that you have Greek olive oil in Fredonia is a plus already. I mean, it's I, I feel uh-huh. like I feel like you got something that nobody in Fredonia has got. Nobody's got Greek <laughs> olive oil in it, it? right? <laughs> no, no, they do not. I'm and probably then, not. And then secondly, if you think it's like as soon as you said Greece, I just I just saw like. You know, a, a little village with real old people walking around, like a hundred years old, and right. and, they, yeah. and they got a little tan, got tan, a, and tan, and they got a little thimble of olive oil that they <laughs> they sip on as they're going to the grocery store, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I, man, bro. I I I might down the bottle. Half of the bottle, just to get it, just to get it, get it circulating, getting kick started, right? I'm thinking about doing a little dab in the hands through the hair oh, every morning, too. Bro, let man. it, let it leak into the head pores on its own accord, bro. You know what I mean? Oh shit! Yeah, so. man, that's uh, that's great. And it, <clears throat> as long as we're shouting out cast listeners, got a got a big shout out for Tony Bruno, who uh, Patreon member, messaged us a uh, message to uh, us on the uh, on the board over there. Went to go see the movie. Really enjoyed the movie. Uh, related to, to the fact that you know uh, the relationship I had with my father, and he just sent a nice message to us. So I uh, just wanted to take a shout out, Tony Bruno. We are reading those messages and thanks for uh thanks for chiming in you're gonna meet tony bruno when i work with you july in july in florida tony's coming to the game he's the guy that like is the big dog for the new york yankees that got me box i mean yeah i mean i know you throw it the first pitch in wrigley but he may be able to get you a drive through on the field in a golf cart in between innings (laughs) At Yankee Stadium. I mean, this is Tony B. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He, and he had messaged me privately saying he loved the movie. I see a lot of people love the movie. And that movie, by the way, is going to last for years to come, man. should yeah, be no, proud it, of yourself, bro. It's good. Really freaking yeah. should, man. I mean, the goddamn box office and all that's like, let them all figure that out. It's a damn good movie. It's going to be around forever, bro. Love yeah, it. I appreciate that. I, I've come to the, that in my head, like, Forget what it's doing. Forget you know. Forget the box office. It's 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 uh, it's a movie. It's going to be around forever. My kids are going to be able to see it. Got to think of the positive on that side. But thanks for uh, for mentioning that. Um, exactly. So what did you say? You had some some topics of conversation that you said you wanted to get off the medical uh, the medical vibe yeah. and maybe get into some more. Uh, what what do we got? Well. Um... By the way, 
Any Bonnie Raid updates? No. Wow. And, 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 I'll, and I'll tell and I'll tell you, I, I totally forgot about it. Yeah. I haven't even looked I haven't even looked at my phone in re- regards to the Bonnie Raitt stuff. And <laughs> Yeah, I, I have no excuse. Wow. Uh, listen, I, 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 was, I, I, I now I, I literally somebody... forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to make it happen during the cast, and then you forgot about it. Honestly, I was hoping someone from the Bonnie Ray camp would have heard this by now and be like, Petey, come backstage, say hi to her. She'd love to meet you, but still, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, my first topic, bro. Uh, Jackie and I went the other day to the mall because I, I need a new bed. All right. My bed now is kind of doing the indentation. And someone turned us on to the sleep number. You know, you ever see the commercial for the sleep number where it can recline and all this kind of stuff? So, what kind of, first of all, what kind of bed do you have? Do you have any, I have to ask, do you have an expensive bed? Because it's like pertinent to the story. Yeah. Uh, it's funny you're mentioning beds because we were just talking about my buddies slept here or stayed with me this weekend and they were really, really enjoying the beds. Um, and I'm like, they're like, what kind of bed do you have? And I think it's a posturepedic or temp temperpedic temperpedic. I don't know. I I have to go look, but it, it, it's 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 a pretty penny. All right, because I, I want to say I, it's I want to say it's seven grand. I don't know why that's popping into my head. Seven right. grand. I don't know if that's if that's a normal price for a bed. Seven to ten grand, maybe. I don't know. Well, was well, this bed? Is it, well. This bed, we go, we go to see the lady, right? So we go, we're in the mall, and we walk in, and we go to the sleep number. I, as soon as we get in there, she starts telling us what we got to do first is test your firmness level. I got Sadie with us too, so I'm like, I feel time constrained. So we got to go, and we lay in this bed, and then she's telling us how it works. There's a screen above you that, then she goes, look at the screen. It'll tell you everything you need to know, and then she lights up both of our sides. And red is showing, and she goes, see, like in my mid back. And she's like, that's where most of the pressure when you sleep is, Pete. And then, Jackie, yours is over here. And we're going to show you now. And they like do some adjustment. So we're going to spread that weight evenly. And as they do something, like the red starts to disappear. And like they're trying to find your level of firmness, right? So and then she goes, then we got to go over to this bed. And I don't want to make this story too long, but one thing leads to another. And like, you, you, you fucking can't get out of this thing. This lady just keeps going. And then she's telling us how your feet warm up. If you, uh, we have this new thing where when you get into your bed, your feet are on a heater. And she goes, and studies have shown with scientists that if your feet are heated, you fall asleep faster. And then we're picking out everything that works for us and blah, blah, blah. And at the end she goes, okay, so this is yours. And I'm like, what's that price then? And she's like twelve thousand dollars, right? Now, when they, you ever have someone tell you some price that's so expensive, you got to do the poker thing, like you knew it was that expensive, like no big deal. Like she's oh, going yeah. twelve grand. I'm like, all right, oh, that makes sense. So twelve grand for that, Jack. <laughs> you know, but as I'm giving her the, that makes sense in my head. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, right? And then. At one point, uh, she walks away for a second. We're on the bed, and Jackie uh, is still trying our thing, and Jackie looks over at me, and she's like, what are we doing, people? we got to get out of here. And I'm like, what do you want me to say? The lady's mid-shit. So she comes back over, and I go, oh, listen, miss, I, I don't want to shut you down, but we have another obligation. i got to get out of here soon. She just keeps going. Okay, that's fine. Bah, bah, bah. Cut to, bro. All said and done, I walk in there to check out the sleep number bed. I walk out having purchased a $9,000 bed, right? That's a lot of money in my world. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You do sleep number. You do, go through all that, and then you tell the woman, hey, I got another obligation. And then within the time you say, I have another obligation, and when you leave, you bought a $9,000 bed? I did. I did, because it doesn't come for 30 days, and this lady was so relentless and so annoying with her fake laugh that I'm like, it's easier for me to buy this goddamn thing and then just call up from home later in the week and shut it down and cancel it because oh I can't take this lady and this lady ain't letting me get the fuck out of here. I was driving hold nuts. On, hold on. You bought a $9,000 bed. 
to get yeah. out of the store? I felt like that's why I bought it. Yes, I mean I don't know. <laughs> Somebody else might say I bought it because she 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 played me and she was a mm-hmm. great salesperson. But I feel like I don't know. I I, I just feel I we got out of it. And I'm going to Jackie. What what the what the fuck? Do we got a nine thousand dollar bed? What are we do? And she's like, well, she, the lady said it lasts 15 years, and we get a new one every f- five years for $3,000. So I go, I, I don't know, Jack. You know? And then uh, Sadie comes home today, last night from the, uh, school, and she goes, uh, oh, Dad, I, the girls were laughing at lunch. I was telling them that my dad went in to check out beds and bought a $9,000 bed and was mad about it all day. And I'm like, you don't... You don't tell kids how much money your parents pay for shit. Don't you understand? <laughs> those kids are gonna go home to their parents and go, "The Coriellis got nine thousand dollars." But they're gonna go, "What did what did they send their kid to school to say how much they?" Oh, God. I I said to my daughter, "I can never stop with you. I can't take my foot off the gas pedal for one second. I gotta teach you every day till you're eighteen. This is unbelievable. Where are your oh, instincts?" <laughs> so, so sorry bro i went all over the place with that no 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 listen listen so i want to get this straight in my head did you call back two three days after and cancel the order or is this thing coming bought it sunday today we're casting is tuesday later today i'm calling to either cancel it completely or i'm thinking about going with no bells and whistles. Like the one I bought, it, it comes up and goes down and it's split. So mine can come up, but Jackie can stay down. And I'm telling the lady, I go, lady, I'm not, I don't need a hospital bed. I'm never going to come up with this thing. And she goes, well, do you, do you snore uh, ever? And I go, no, I don't snore. And then Jackie goes, well, you do a little on you're on your back. I go, yeah, once in a while on my back. And she goes, well, check this out. And she puts up a little. Uh, uh, I'm right? sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. I got right. to cut you off. When you're in a situation where a salesman is trying to sell you something, right? Mm -hmm. And they ask a question and you know where they're going. She's asking if you snore because if you do, this thing that comes up is going to help you with your snoring, right? So even yeah. if you did snore, right? Don't you think you would be able to sniff out, oh, if I say I snore, it's going to be a point for her and selling me this bed because yeah. of the of the incline. Doesn't Jackie know to just sh- all of a sudden, now she's on team salesperson because she's going, yes, you, you, you do snore. And in your head, aren't you going, what, huh? what are you doing? You're giving her more ammunition. I I felt that way. And before we got into the sleep store, Jackie we wanted to do a quick stop in a, some clothing store with Sadie. And they were in there so long. I told Jackie this, that by the time you guys came out and we went into the sleep store, my, I was fried from waiting for you. And this lady walked all over me. Because then, when she said the thing about your feet, if your feet are warm, studies have shown you fall asleep. Uh, I go to Jackie, yeah, but I go every night. You kick the covers off because you have a hot flash and your feet are are, are burning up, and you you know. And then Jackie goes, yeah, but that's because I'm having the hot flash. Maybe if I'm already sleeping because they were warm from there. I, I'm I'm fighting it from both ways, guy. I got you know yeah. that's what I felt was happening. No, no, I agree, man. It's like, it's like. It's like going to buy a car, right? The salesman comes out and he gives you, and let's say he goes, and the car drives itself, right? You don't go, oh, really? You go, oh, right. okay. And then when he leaves to go get you a cup of coffee, you turn to Jack. You go, the, the thing drives itself. You, you get happy. <laughs> you talk about it when the salesman ain't there because if yeah. if, if you if you're happy about it. In the moment, I feel like, oh, they got you. They're 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 they're. they're, they're, they're uh, they're chipping at the little worm on the hook. I don't know. I I think that's a, 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 a because like Lana will do that. Lana will 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 go. Oh, like we're looking at a house. She goes, Oh my god, it does. It has it has an extra bedroom. Isn't that great? I'm like, Not really. Uh, but I think it's <laughs> it, it it is great. But I'm not gonna tell him it's great. Right, right, right. Oh, dude, we got so played. Are you sitting down for this? 
We bought the sheets and the pillowcases. Oh, bro, this, no. Because <laughs> they say, our oh, sheets, it, it, it doesn't work unless you use our sheets. It's not as effective. The whole cooling oh. system from the mattress works better with our special oh, wow. sheets. Oh, God. Oh, Throw in the sheets, <laughs> throw in the sheets, and the pillowcases. It was like, we walked out of here. I'm like, Jackie, what the fuck? Are we really getting a $9,000 bed delivered? Whoa. So she, I'm she says you, to me, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't. But did you buy the, the bedside tables? <laughs> I would have, but it looked like a goddamn hospital table. You know, like the whole the whole setup really was like, you know, there was another couple in there shopping, and they were literally like uh, seventy two. So you know, I don't know what we, we were ahead of our time in there. These things, I don't know. So bottom line, today Jackie goes, if it, it turns out it's coming today, Pete, I'm like, what? And she goes, but we can use it for 30 days if we want and then cancel it. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. And then she goes, let me double check. Uh, and she calls me back and she goes, oh, all right, calm down. She goes, only the sheets and the pillowcase are coming today. The rest of it's still not coming for a month. So we have a month to call and cancel. So I'm going to call later today and just, uh, like I said, shut it down or get the $5,000 basic. But I got played, bro. Wow, bro. I'm surprised yeah. that you don't have more of a a wall up on that stuff just to Listen, just pull the plug and get out of there. I know. But I, when you're good, you're good. I got a buddy who used to, he used to, a high school buddy for a little while when we were younger, sold vacuums door to door, had to do the whole demonstration and shit. And he goes, even when I sold them, I knew the next day they were going to call and cancel the order. Because you, you get them, you hook them, but then you leave... And then they fucking snap out of it and go, oh, fuck I, I just buy a vacuum off a guy who pulled into my fucking driveway. What the fuck? You know? <laughs> so, oh, bro, God. this is the last thing I have to throw you away. I'll make this short, but sink your teeth into this. Sadie's music teacher for piano is from China. Grew up in China. Married a man in America. She fell in love with him. He was in China, and they moved back to America. And we were talking to her the other day. She's, you know, like in her 30s or 40s. And I said, oh, did you ever think about moving back to China? And she said, well, that was our plan originally. But when I stepped off the plane in Buffalo to come to Fredonia, I immediately knew I was never going to leave. I was like, why? And she goes, because I couldn't believe how fresh the air was. I couldn't believe how much I could breathe. And she goes, you don't understand. In China, really, there's two classes. There's really rich and no money, right? This is me talking. I read that. But she told me this, right? She said, the really rich people, you know how like people that have CPD or whatever, they need oxygen to breathe? Really rich people get it pumped into their house 24-7. So when they're going about their day, they got oxygen being pumped in because it's so bad outside. You can't drink any of the water her entire life anywhere in china you gotta buy bottled water she goes and it was so expensive you spent so much money on bottled water and then oh. i'm talking yesterday with my family about this and my sister-in-law for her job went to china for like a week and a half was she worked a uh, big business where they showed her around like um because they do big business with her company here and she was saying, you, uh, you can't imagine how dirty it is there. She's like, the air is like yellow. You can't, it's like, um. again, bro, I don't want to scare everybody. China's trying to take over the world. So they pollute that. They're all going to move to Fredonia. For fresh air. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, going to have XI himself is going to live uh, down the block from me. <laughs> What's your You're take a, on that, bro? On the on the air situation? Oh, I don't know. I mean, Jesus. I mean, if they're if they're sniffing yellow air over there and they can't drink the water, that's I mean, air and water are two main things you need to live. So, no <sighs> wonder Fredonia is uh, <laughs> paradise but, for for some. But what Chinese. I'm saying, you could if you could come from China, visit America. Aren't they when like because people go, oh the internet they don't they're not told things. But when you visit America and then you go home, aren't you telling other people in China going, dude, what the fuck? They're breathing over there and they're <laughs> hanging out. They're swimming and drinking water anywhere they want. You know, like, I don't I don't understand that, man. 
That's insane. I don't know. I, I don't know. You would you would think they would make the connection of going, Jesus, this, we got to get the hell out of here. But I don't know if that if it's yeah. that easy. No, well, can you? I, I, yeah, I guess not. I don't know. Like, can you imagine not being able to leave here? Oh, God. Like, you, you want to live in Italy, and then, like, the president of the United States is like, N you can't go. You just stay here. <laughs> if, you, if you go to Italy, everyone you know in, in America is going to, ah, whatever. All over the place. <laughs> yeah, oh, this. God. With that. But. But, but what do you think, though, and, and this would be interesting to explore, <sighs> and I know it's, you know, different country, different politics, what have you, Yeah. but what are they doing over there when it comes to education with the kids? I would just like to see their curriculum compared to, like, an average school here in the United States and how they come, you know, like, what are they doing? Are right. they going to school seven right. days a week? Are they yeah. doing it nine hours a day? What's, That's what what's, I think. yeah, like, what, what what are they doing as far as education is concerned in China that's different than what we're doing here? Well, you know, you know, they only get like two, three hours of internet time because when you want to log into the internet, not for games and stuff, for video games. It, 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 you have to log in and the government sees over there and you get three hours a week. Anything over that and there's a problem. So wow. that's fantastic. I, mean, <laughs> I, was telling my, I was telling my in-laws last night about the whole thing about how they, you know, if you jaywalk, you lose social points and if you lose those points, you can't stay in a nice <laughs> hotel. And I go, which is crazy. And I go, but nobody's jaywalking. That's kind of nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... And my father-in-law said he saw a documentary. <clears throat> this is the mentality in China um, and why he's like, they're crushing us all, in every way. Because like he, my father-in-law was in a steel plant his whole life. And he would like take these like 2,000 degree steel bars that just came out like scalding hot. And you have to like grab clamps and bring them over here and do something with them. And you're wearing all this shit to protect you and a mask. And he's saying there was this documentary saw about the steel plants in China. And he goes, these guys are in shorts, tank top, and flip-flops holding these 200,000 degree or whatever, two, the 2,000 degree bars. And he goes, and the first guy would lift it, move it over here, and then he steps out of the way. And the next guy up dumps a bucket of water over that guy. And then he grabs it and moves it to the next spot. And the guy behind him dumps some water over him. And I go, why, why do they keep dumping water? And he goes, because the bars are so hot that even for holding them with no, no protection for five seconds, the body starts to burn up. So the next guy's got to dump a bucket of water on you. And then you flip flop out of the way. And like one guy <laughs> drops it and burns his arm. They got other guys that work for the plant. Their only job is to take the wounded and just drag them out of the fucking way and bring in a freshie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my, God. my God! And over man. here now, what do we have? You could call in the, if you want, if, you, if you're not feeling emotionally well in America, <laughs> you can call it right. I need a me day, a me day. What the fuck, <laughs> bro? Sadie's taking Mandarin this summer, two weeks straight. Oh, that's beautiful. it, man. I go listen. You're gonna have to be able to, to negotiate for the town of Fredonia when they take over. We're going to need you to speak, to speak Mandarin to work out the deal. Oh, God. So. Oh, man. How the kids well, doing, bro? Well, Serafina just did a recital, right? Piano yeah. recital, six years old. She did uh, Girls on Fire by uh, Alicia Keys. Oh, now my God. I love that song. 37. This girl is on, is on fire. fire. Yeah. Great. Great. She's a doll. I'm looking at I'm looking at these kids, right? And they got ages be from three to seventeen, right? Yeah. So this kid goes up, right? <laughs> got this hair. It's like an amazing head of hair, and it's just kind of falling into his face, right? Yeah. He comes up on the microphone and he goes, "Hey, everybody! I'm gonna be playing da 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 by so and so." I hope you all like it. Give a little smile and a thumbs up, man. I got, I'm in. 
I'm in on this kid. Right from the right from the introduction, yeah. right? He's gonna yeah. play two yeah. songs. So he starts playing, right? You could tell. You could just tell when people got it. This guy's got it. Yeah. Yeah. Just the movement, right? Just into the, the the keys. You know, when someone's just playing and their body's into it. And yeah, then he yeah. takes the microphone, it's off on a, like a stand, and he brings it to his mouth, right? And then he starts singing the song, right? And I'm like, easy, great. This kid's 15, and I'm going, <laughs> I'd pay money to see this kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Turns out it's Joey McIntyre's kid. You know who Joey McIntyre is? Was he a Backstreet Boy? New Kids on the Block. Check that to see if that's right. I think it's, yeah. New Kids on the Block, right? It's his son. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. That's it. The kid, the kid's got it. It's in him. And, and there was other talented people there, right? right. But it's like when, and I, and again, I'm not a big music guy. It's not like I watch a lot of live entertainment. But when it's, when it's in front of you, you could see who's on their way and who's going to kind of fall off just because of just the sheer pa- there's another kid over there he's 14 years old and i and i think i i think i did i did i show you remember i said this kid's a savant yeah you showed me that one okay that was he like did another Be- beethoven yeah he did another one <laughs> you know when you're pounding the keys you know you ever, you, you ever see, he's doing classical, like, yeah. bro, I was doing, like, chariots of, yeah, I was doing chariots of fire, and I was having problems with that at, like, 10, right? That's impressive, even dun, to dun, me, dun, that's dun, impressive. Dun, dun, dun. Well, yeah. I mean, it's right, not right. Cho, Chopin. This <laughs> right, guy, right. He's coming, like, when you're coming high off the keys, right, but when yeah. your hand is, like, here, and you come down, and you're hitting chords, right? Like, yeah. I, I can't move off the piano at all. Like, my my hands are on the keys. This guy's coming from, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, hey, this is great. Awesome. I know. So, it makes you, like, wonder, like, what, what, what are the kids doing in, like, Maine? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like L.A. is, like, um, for that kind of stuff with these kids... It's it's and it's not even about it's not even about having access to certain things. It's about like like you take Joey McIntyre, you're saying right? I think if I'm not mistaken, those new kids and Backstreet Boys, they they sing what's written for them. That's what they yeah. did, right? Joey, this is your part. You come in here. He probably had his kid by by five years old going. You're gonna play your own instrument. Nobody's gonna fucking tell you what to sing. You're gonna write your own shit. Trust me, I was the parrot. You don't want to be the parrot. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so they come back stronger than the oh. dad who already was a uh, you know uh, famous. <laughs> so that's my take on it. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, you're right. I mean, it's it's come in L.A. It's like you see these kids. It's like, man, this is like they're around it so much. The entertainment business. It's just like it's just like falling off into their into their plate. Right. Now, Serafina tonight, she's playing the witch. In Wizard of Oz, right? Oh, wow. Nice, man. So, she's going to have her face painted green, and she's doing the lines around the house. I got to tell you, I know it's my kid. I might be biased. But when she comes out, right, on stage, there's a flare that I'm not seeing in some of the other kids. Right? That's, that's, that's what I'm that's saying, it. yeah. But what you take, you being in the entertainment business, if Sadie was like, you know, Dad, I want to... I want to up in my upstairs in Fredonia. I appreciate you saying I'm in the entertainment <laughs> business. That was very kind of you. <laughs> what if she wants no, to don't. go down... What if she wants to go down yeah. that route? You cool with it? Stand up? No, stand up, music, like... She tells you at oh, 18, music, yeah. Dad, I'm going out to Hollywood. What do you say? Well, I'm coming with you. I don't know. No, I don't. I, I'm, da- I'm down with the music. 
I'm not down with stand up. She's funny, but like uh, I remember years ago, I saw this great interview where Jeff Ross is interviewing Dennis Miller. Jeff Ross is real young, and he says to Dennis Miller, uh, "How would you feel if your kid wanted to become a stand-up comic? Would you be cool with that?" And Dennis Miller's like almost condescending to Jeff Ross because, "Yeah, why wouldn't I? I mean, look, I have a wonderful life. Why would I care if my son wanted to do that?" And then Jeff Ross goes, "What if he was a guitar act?" And fucking Dennis Miller goes, "I like you. That's funny." <laughs> <laughs> You know, so it depends what my daughter's doing in the entertainment, you know, like I want to be an artist dad. I'm, you know, what does that mean? You're going to go down in uh, on Broadway and do portraits of people, tourists for five bucks. Yeah. You know, it all depends what you're doing. But um, what about comedy? What if your daughter wanted to be a stand up comic? It's weird, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. Showbiz I get. Yeah, that I get. But not not necessarily the exact same thing. But yeah. so like, does your um, daughter have a lot of lines? Does, like, is this like totally like I want the uh, coming up on the bike? Are they doing just like the movie? Give me the dog, take the dog, leave yeah, with like, Toto. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, I don't know how they're gonna reenact the movie on stage. It's a play, so I'm not gonna like a flying bicycle and uh, no. play. But, but no, but. but I mean, are there kids playing flying monkeys in this thing? Uh, like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how they're going to work well, the munchkins and the whole thing. You know, I, I, <laughs> when is I it tonight? Good. Yeah, tonight. So we're going to go there. Oh, tonight. that's awesome. Um, and she's super excited about it. Um, so yeah, if, oh, the kids are good. I, I, got, I had my. Where are we at? An hour. Fifty-six minutes, bro. You know what? The chunk I got is a pretty big chunk, All right. and we're going to have to save it for the next episode because it's going to take us about 25, 30 minutes to dissect what happened uh, this weekend here with my friends from uh, oh. from college right. that came up to visit. So uh, we'll save that nice. for the <laughs> next cast. I like these kind of like cliffhangers we're doing now, right? Last yeah, one was yeah. we went to Patreon. This one, I, we just wet, wet your beak a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, what's I'm curious to hear what happened. happened. Yeah, it's almost like, oh, don't stop. But you know, <laughs> have to do it for next week to be continued. Um, I just want to mention to the cast uh, listeners that uh, uh, obviously there is the Patreon there. Um, uh, five bucks a month, go there if you want an extra episode, some behind the scenes stuff. Oh, by the way, and I want to leave you with this, bro. Nah, I can't, I can't. We have to save it for the next cast because I, I, oh, it's wow. going to take us to somewhere that 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 could take a a long time. Uh but yeah, we appreciate your listenership. SebastianLive.com added some summer shows locally. Pete and I are going to be doing Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Four shows, July twenty first through the twenty fourth. Um. I also want to talk to you about possibly doing a cast there in Florida oh, yeah. on the stage. They have the capability of, you know, because we're going to have cameras there. Maybe we could do a, right. a cast live from Florida. Not live, but like uh, a taped one. Also, um, ah. Ah. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. All these teases, guys. <laughs> well, are we wrapping or I'm, what? I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm making a little vacation for us, right? Who's us? It, me and you in Fort really? Lauderdale. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Like, um, where I can't say where we're staying because the hotel will get mobbed. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh shit! So we're just all right. This is getting cool, huh? So, so did Lindsay send you where we're staying? No. Oh, you didn't get the information yet? Okay. So no. I picked a nice little spot. Uh, brand new. Right? Yeah. Uh, brand new brand new hotel. We're not gonna we're not gonna stay on the property. Okay? All right. We're not gonna stay All at the right. casino. We're staying okay. we're staying off we're staying off site. Wow. All right. But, um, I'm saying this is cool. Uh, 
I made it a little like a little getaway. <laughs> go, go down for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's right on the beach. Go out to the beach a little bit. You know, wave run and you know just just get some oh, content. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Content we'll yeah. get. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. You're like Sinatra. Let's do it. I love it, man. I love it. I'll we'll have a good time. We'll do that. We'll do some shows to kill the, and then we'll go back. Yeah, and then we'll show it and we'll, you know, we'll go out. We're going to be in Miami area. We'll go out maybe a little late night, get a little late night bite, you know, maybe a Cuban sandwich yeah. or something. All um, right, man. <laughs> fucking awesome. Sounds great. Sounds great. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening to Pete Sebastian. We are out. Peace.